Hello there, my name is Benjamin Vaughn and I am a residential bat specialist in Ontario. If you haven't already, I recommend that you first watch my video on residential bat problems. That video explains how and why bats get into our houses and living spaces. Now, what I'm about to tell you only really applies to Ontario bat problems. Each year, we receive thousands of phone calls from homeowners across Ontario who discover bats inside their home. Many of them find them inside their bedrooms or wake up to a bat flying around their heads. Some of these people call me and ask if bats pose a health risk. Very good question. The answer is no. But if you find a bat in your bedroom or your kid's bedroom, you are going to call your local health unit and ask about rabies shots. Now, the reason I can say that bats don't pose a health risk is because if you live in Ontario and find a bat inside your home, it's most likely a big brown bat. And North America's most abundant species, the big brown bat, lives quietly in millions of houses across Ontario. It's estimated that more than 95% of all residential bat colonies in Ontario are big brown bats. Most enter and exit buildings high up and only need a tiny gap to squeeze into your roof. Bats are quiet, nocturnal, and most of their colonies are quite small, which makes it easy for them to live in our houses unnoticed. In fact, most homeowners only discover they have a bat problem when one shows up inside their home. Now, while many homeowners assume the bat came in a door or window, bats show up inside houses because they generally live in the walls of houses, not attics which are too hot in summer and too cold in winter. After entering the roof, they use gaps beside plumbing pipes and chimneys to get into the walls and can often travel all the way down the wall to an unfinished space like a basement or a furnace room. Now once inside, they simply move from room to room by crawling under doors. This is why they show up in bedrooms. Homeowners who find bats in their bedrooms will wonder if somebody was possibly bitten while they were sleeping. The problem is the mouth and teeth of these bats are so tiny that people can't necessarily know for sure they have been bitten. However, there have only been three confirmed rabies deaths attributed to big brown bats in North American history and never one in Ontario. But if you ask me, do I think you should be treated if it's possible you were bitten by a bat? Heck yes! It's that kind of paranoia that keeps the rabies death rate so low in Canada. If you find a bat in your bedroom or your kid's bedroom, you are going to call your public health unit and ask about rabies shots. Now, the only way to stop bats from showing up inside your bedrooms and living spaces is to have a bat specialist come out and bat-proof the building and humanely exclude the bats. And bat-proofing a house is not simple or inexpensive. But if you find a bat inside your home, it's extremely likely that at some point you will get more. Because big brown bats generally don't live alone, and they leave scent trails others can follow. And once they discover a way into your home, they will keep coming back. How often that will happen is anyone's guess. If you cannot afford bat proofing, there are steps you can take to limit the number of bats showing up in your living spaces and bedrooms. That subject is covered in my video, What to Do in the Meantime. I will link to that at the end of this video. We certainly hope you enjoyed this video. If you'd like to learn more, check out our other videos on our website and our YouTube channel. If you'd like us to come out and fix that bat problem for you once and for all, check out our website, batcontrolspecialists.com.